Breathing is the set of muscular movements that gives the respiratory surface a constant supply of air from the outside. This means there is always a concentration gradient between the blood and the air in the alveoli and the two important gases in gas exchange, oxygen and carbon dioxide. As shown in the animation uh, before you, breathing is brought about by the action of two groups of muscles. These are called the intercostal muscles and the diaphragm. So now we're just going to look in a little bit more detail at these two types of muscles. So how do we get breathing and breathing out? Breathing in and breathing out. So for breathing in, the external intercostal muscles contract and pull the rib cage upwards and outwards. Okay? And the diaphragm muscle, which is below here, contracts and the diaphragm moves downward. This leads to lung volume increasing and the pressure inside the lungs decreasing due to the fact there's more volume. That isn't the case when we're breathing in because air rushes in to fill the extra space and equalize the pressure from the inside and outside of the body. So what's the case when we have breathing out? In this particular case, what happens is the internal intercostal muscles, muscles relax and the rib cage falls downwards and inwards. And the diaphragm muscles, this time, they relax and begin pushing up and return to the original dome shape of the relaxed diaphragm. This pushing force pushes air out as the lung volume decreases and the pressure inside the lungs increases. Because of this pressure difference, it's now pushing air outside. So, let us now summarize these ideas. So, in summary, dot dot, extra lung volume is created by two things. Okay, the first thing is that the rib cage is, moves up and out. Okay, rib cage moves up and out. And this is caused by, of course, the external intercostal muscles contracting and pulling the rib cage up and out. The second thing that happens when you're breathing in is that the diaphragm moves down. Okay, and this uh, diaphragm moving down leads to the pressure inside the lungs falling and also leads to the air rushing into the lungs. Rushes in due to this pressure difference. So that's what happens when you have uh, breathing in. When it's breathing out, it is the opposite. The rib cage moves um, back in and that's due to this time the relaxing of the internal intercostal muscles. So there's two sets of intercostal muscles. Okay, the external contract, oops, contract and this contraction leads to breathing in because it forces the rib cage out and the internal relax and this leads to breathing out because this relaxation uh, allows the rib cage to fall downwards and 
inwards and that puts pressure on the lungs on the axis of the diaphragm making the volume of the lungs smaller and pushes the air out. An example of that is when you cough or you seize. So for example a cough. And that in a nutshell is how breathing ventilates our lungs.